Okay, so while you were away, <laughs> or I was away, I uh, I went around and basically started doing these. So let's just have a look. So just starting to get those done. They've been washed down in devil in mud because uh, I didn't have any sepia left. And uh, the reason why I want to get them done because I want to do these scorch marks. Okay, so when a something enters our atmosphere, it burns up, it creates like a scorch mark pattern along its surfaces and this is what we want to do. Um, so I'm trying to find some black, so let's just get some chaos black. Um, you're going to need a rag because you need to hit it straight away. Okay, so we're just going to put that along here, like so. I'm just going to put the brush over there. Okay, so what we're looking to do now is drag this back. Okay, so we'll do it again, and this is a really boring process, you'll have to bear with me. You literally have to keep adding it and building it up, building it up. I mean, there is other ways of doing it. You can basically just paint it in. But I like to use the old wipe and clean method. Uh, <laughs> it's not called that. I just, I just gave you that name just there. So I'm copywriting it. No one nick it. Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, well, <laughs> so let's just drag that back. And this is quite nice because it creates like a staining effect for us. And we'll do the same again. There. Okay. Let's build it again. Let's get some of that paint off there. Grab this. And just drag that back there. Okay. Need some more paint. And we're gonna just bring it along the top. So we're building up a layer. Okay, so we get a rag. And be vigorous with it when you're wiping it. Okay. And then just go back over where you want it to go back on. Same again, build it up. Let's just get the rag. That's quite cool. And we'll just paint some of that in and we can wipe it away again and we'll just keep doing that <clears throat> just, so I'm just going to wet it down a bit and what I'm going to do is, is just take the brush into it or the rag into it so I do apologise Start up there as well. Just need to get some paint on this brush. Now, you don't have to do this. I'm doing this because it was asked to be done. Uh, so he said, go ahead, 
whether it's a buggery. Well, his exact words were, whatever you want to do. So, I want to do it, basically. I know that's a bit naughty, isn't it? But, that's what we, uh, that's what we do. And it's nice if we can practice on someone else's models. No, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It's nice to be able to paint, and it's nice to be able to practice stuff. So, now, you can do this another way by using weathering powders and we can add that later just to get a bit of a feel for it let's just grab that and take some of that away Okay, so we're following that pattern. Just wet the brush a bit. And that's our general idea. So we need to do that again on the other side and we need to also do it on certain areas at the front as well.